What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you guys my second travel video for the month of April. I try and do two travel videos a month. Sometimes and predominantly these are going to be extra videos in that week just because I typically have a good amount of makeup videos already filmed. You guys don't want to know how many videos I have pre-filmed. You don't want to know. I have like a plethora, maybe like 20 right now ever since my um hawaii trip so basically my whole month is filmed nice um but anyways if you guys want to know five ways to make your trips um cheaper then just keep watching Alrighty guys, so some of these are going to be pretty obvious and they might be things that you know but they might be things that you don't know and I just kind of for these first couple of months that I'm doing these travel videos, I just want to give you guys kind of like a baseline of like, these are in my opinion some basics that I didn't even particularly know when I started traveling, but I have grown to know um, since I've been traveling more and I want to share them with you guys. So the first thing I want to talk about is, um, what is the first thing that I want to talk about is, let's start with lodging. So. Typically, I really, my two big factors into whether I'm going to go on a trip is how much it costs to actually stay in that area and how much it costs to get there. When it comes to staying in the area, predominantly I used to do a lot of hotels. Hotels were where I was at. I have a Marriott membership. I was like, yes, girl, you racking them up, you racking them up. But those points, they, they ain't worth it compared to how much money you're actually spending. But if you use something like Airbnb, you get more bang for your buck. So I believe like I've had hotel um, quotes that, oh, okay. So I'm actually going up to Michigan uh, for a sorority sister's graduation. And I was pricing out a hotel up there and I think the pricing for a weekend, so two nights, two nights? Yeah, two nights and three days was 400 to $500, something like that. And for me, I'm not, I was gonna pay it. I was like, fine, whatever, whatever. And then something clicked in my head and I was like, sis, what are you doing? Go to Airbnb. I was able to get, I is it a house? Did I get a whole house or just a room? Well, let's let's check my Airbnb app. Um, I res oh I apparently reserved a house. I apparently reserved the whole house. No, I pres I reserved a room. Okay, so mm, what's happening? So I reserved a room. I didn't even check the price. Get your life. I reserved the room for I okay I'm here I'm here with you guys now I reserved the room for the two nights in three days for under a hundred dollars under a hundred dollars I get a room I'm very close to the school that I need to travel to I'll be driving my car so I will have access to park and all these things all for under a hundred dollars and then for me, driving up there, that'll take me under $100 and even coming back. So overall right now, that trip is only going to be $200, which is $200 to $300 less than I may have spent just for my hotel on this trip. So I think Airbnb is a great resource for anybody to use, um, depending on where you're going. Like, so if I feel comfortable in the country or in the state, I will use Airbnb, no problem at all. But if I'm going to a place that I don't particularly feel comfortable, I, I don't, maybe I don't know the language as well, or I haven't heavily researched the location, so I just don't feel as comfortable, then I will probably fall back in on a Marriott or even just a normal hotel. But if you feel comfortable, if you know the language, if you think you can control situations that may get out of control, if you don't get yourself an Airbnb, okay. Um, and I have been in the situation where an Airbnb did not go, it did not appear as it did on the app. 
me and my friend, we contacted Airbnb. They refunded us their mo the money and we kept it pushing. So I would highly, highly recommend you try using Airbnb instead of a normal hotel for your lodging. That's tip number one. Tip number two is how to get cheaper flights. Now, you can do this a couple of different ways, and I'm just going to kind of group them all together. I am subscribed to an email service called Scott Cheap Flights. I will have his um, website linked down below, and he has different forms of membership. So I got the free membership, but you also can become like a pro or whatever, whatever as well. Basically, whichever tier you are, he will um, generate email, uh, emails to you about flights leaving your general area, going to different parts of the world. There, I mean, you can tell him like, I prefer only flights on Europe. I prefer only flights on uh, Africa, etc., etc. And they will tailor those emails to you. Now I'm not gonna lie, you get you get some emails, okay? I mean, sometimes you're getting two, three emails a day. But if you really love to travel and you really want to get cheaper flights, how how expensive are two or three emails a day? Okay, let's let's get something to drink because I've been talking. Now, because I've been using that service for a decent amount of time now, I have realized that it's pretty much not no shade at all. It's pretty much a glorified version of Google Flight Alerts. Google Flight Alerts, if you go to, all you have to do is type in Google Flights, it'll bring up a website. And in that website, you can search for flights leaving and going to whatever place you wanna go. You can include the amount of people that you wish to take these flights um, you can of course give them the dates that you want to be on these flights and they will um, give you guys a result of any and all airlines doing flights to and from these two locations and you can make it so that you get alerts to your personal email saying this is when the flights go cheaper they go higher etc 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 so Let's say you don't want to get the plethora of emails that you can potentially get from Scott's cheap flights, but you only want to get flights within this time period, right before you plan your trip to go. Like I'm trying to plan a trip to go to Australia. So what I could do is put a Google flight alert on for only talking about cheap flights going to Australia from my area during the time period that I want to go that'll constrict the emails that I get but it'll also allow me that whenever I have the money I could potentially purchase those flights and just another small tangent let's say you purchase one of these flights from that are cheaper months if not let's say a year out from when you actually intend to intend to go and you're not a hundred percent sure that you're actually going to be able to attend but you want to secure the ticket just in case make sure to get traveler's insurance traveler's insurance make sure to read the fine print because not all traveler's insurance is created equal but generally that allows you to cancel your flight up to a certain time period and you get your money back so I always use travel insurance. I hate it because you know it's other it's more money and typically when I buy a flight I'm going. It it ain't no if ands or buts, it's just when. But in case you're not like me, in case you're normal and sane, you know, travel insurance can help you cope with any potential things that happen that are out of your control that you didn't foresee, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Number three, let's say you don't like to do the way I've been traveling lately where you kind of book your flight, you book your hotel, and then you just go and do things on your own. Let's say you prefer to get like a whole packaging kit and caboodle. You could go through Groupon. Now, I have never personally used a Groupon um, flight or Groupon travel package, predominantly because all of the Groupon um, packages start 
during the week so they never are over the weekend or they never start over the weekend so it'll be like Wednesday to Sunday or Monday to Friday and I'm just like sis what what <laughs> I just want to do a little quick little trip to the Bahamas over the weekend Where where's my discount you know but anyways Groupon is a website that does have sales on certain trips for certain tips of for certain what? For certain lengths of time, um, I would highly recommend getting the the packages that have the hotel included or not the hotel, the flight included. Those are the best bang for your buck. Cause especially like if you're going to like China, there have been like Chinese ten day all inclusive packages. That means you got your hotel, your flight. Most of the time you don't have food, but those are two major expenses. And typically these packages are like a thousand to two thousand dollars. Are you kidding me? That's a flight ticket right there. So I would highly recommend checking out Groupon, but you have to be flexible. You have to be willing to start your trips potentially in the middle of the week. And you have to be willing to do it whenever the, um, the trip voucher is available so sometimes the vouchers will only be available for like one month in the summer or sometimes depending on how far out they'll be available for 2020s december and january it it's all variable variable there's a variety in all of the options for these trips so you have to be pretty flexible using groupon like I said before, I've never used it and predominantly just because it does not work with my schedule currently, I really, really want to try and use it. They have some awesome trips going to places that I really, really want to go. Um, but I do have a close friend that has used Groupon and he loves it. So I feel comfortable because he has recommended it to me. I feel comfortable recommending it to you guys. Um, but just be careful. I mean, like I said, with the flights, if you can get some form of insurance, get that insurance. Traveling is not cheap, one, and it's it, it's always good to have some form of security. Um, I'm going off on a tangent, but I remember watching a um, news um, story where some lady was like pretending to be a travel agent and she ripped off hundreds of people, I want to say. Maybe not hundreds, maybe it's like maybe like the tens the tens maybe like double digits to triple digits I, I don't know where where the amount of people that she ripped off but she ripped off a bunch of people so definitely be aware be aware um but yeah groupon is definitely an option and at the end of the day groupon is just a glorified travel agency so if you don't feel comfortable doing it online if you would rather go face to face see the person that's going to be handling your money see the person that's going to be planning your trip go to a travel agency i once again have never used a travel agency have i i've used a travel agency but i used it like through study abroad that I did with my school so I don't feel like that really counts because I wasn't going straight to a travel agency um but just keep that in mind generally from what I've heard I have yet another friend that uses travel agents a lot um and she tends her travel agent tends to be more flexible with the payments and when she can provide the payment so I mean there, there there's options for everybody I know some people are like I just don't have the money to travel if you have something you can you can finesse a little something something you know what i mean so groupon travel agency finesse it see see what works for you maybe just go to a travel agent see if that that um that system i i don't know how to say it but see if that planning whatever works for you if it doesn't try groupon if it doesn't Book your flight and your travel by yourself using the previous two tips that I've given you. So yeah, um, fourth is kind of segued, um, kind of I've already touched on it a wee bit, and that is by going to travel agencies. But you can go to a travel agencies like a website and subscribe. 
subscribing to travel agencies allows you to get discounts that they're sending out to people who've actually used their travel agency before that has been a very interesting and unique tool that I feel like not very many people know about um, and that's kind of why I'm here I'm here to bring you guys things that I feel like not very many people know about and I'm subscribed to one it's SNL let's let's, let's see child I oh, T and T and L travel deals that's what it is and basically they randomly send you out emails talking about different trips that have already been planned so once again this is a travel agency kind of on the same um, realm as Groupon but I'm pretty sure these um, packages are better in the sense that you don't have to be nearly as flexible because it's a travel agent so they they've already booked they've already created the trip and planned it out you just have to plug in the dates and tell them when you're able to go kind of thing so that would be another option if you're trying to travel you don't like that um groupon starts in the middle of the week and you don't like that it's very constricted on the dates you don't want to go in person to a travel agent try an online travel agency um, and definitely subscribe to one. They give you discounts and stuff that you would never think to do. Um, so yeah, that was what, number four? Did I forget number five? Let me, let me think about number five. My computer, my camera's gonna cut me off anyways. I'll, I'll be right back. So my brain just is not working and I can't seem to remember the original fifth um, tip that I had, but I do have another tip. And that is, like I was saying before, a couple of the biggest purchases that I made while in the country were souvenirs and food. And I'm just gonna kind of lump these two together. So when it comes to food, what I would recommend, ooh, come on, get it together. What I would recommend is eating at your either your hotel or your Airbnb like inside once a day. Um, I know it doesn't seem like much, but if you wake up and you have breakfast at your hotel, at your Airbnb, that's less money that you are necessarily spending. So typically when I have an Airbnb, I make sure to get like the essentials. So for me, breakfast isn't very essential. I know it's the essential meal of the day, but it's not essential to me. So if I have bananas in my Airbnb or in my hotel, and some water I'm good for breakfast and so that cuts down on easily what 10 to 20 dollars a day depending on how long you're at that location that'll add up like it'll add up really really well um and if you're at a hotel most hotels nowadays have complimentary breakfast which means free breakfast child so you can pig out for your expensive hotel <laughs> and not have to pay for whatever the cuisine is wherever you are so I would definitely recommend at least one meal in your hotel um, and then as for souvenirs I'd recommend shopping around so when I was younger and I was first starting to travel by myself I would always buy immediately what I wanted as soon as I saw it so I am a huge sweatshirt wearer huge um i wish i had a sweatshirt on right now because my fan is a wee bit cold but i used to buy sweatshirts everywhere i went everywhere i went and i would see like so i love color i love bright colors i love everything about color so i would always see like you know those tie-dye really bright sweatshirts those were the first things i would typically buy i'd see it and i'd buy it and it'd be like the first shop souvenir shop or whatever that we went into and let's say that shirt is or that jacket let's say that sweatshirt is like 24 dollars there 
and then you know later that day the next day we go into a different souvenir shop and it's $15 sis that's money it may not be like a lot but that's money that you could have kept but you was being fast because you didn't want to wait and depending on the situation yeah you may not like so I was in Hawaii and when I was in Hawaii we went to like the Dole Plantation which is basically like you know where they um farmed for the pineapples and stuff and I was in a mood <laughs> so I didn't buy anything that day but I did want to get like some fresh pineapples from there some dried pineapples etc 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 but I did not purchase it like I said I was in a mood but it ended up being fine because there was a convenience shop store that was right in the hotel that had dressed dressed dried but fresh pineapples from Dole so even though I didn't purchase it one day I found it the next day and it was probably cheaper in that convenience store than it would have been at Dole because that's like their place so you know they like hiked up the prices a little bit so for me kind of just chill on it yeah you may not be able to get that exact thing but i'm betting if you're in like any form of pretend touristy location or even just a touristy touristy location you will find that exact same item at a different place so i would say really just chill on your souvenirs i didn't start ending up i didn't start ending up good lord i didn't start buying souvenirs when i was in hawaii until day three out of four and I got everything basically on the third day within a snap it was super quick really really quick so that's kind of my tips it starts from you know how to plan your trip and all the way to when you're at your trip enjoying your trip and I mean take all of these with a grain of salt if you love to spend your money on food spend your money on food sis maybe you're not a huge souvenir shopper i just when i go on trips i tend to just not pay attention to the dollar amount and i just plan i tend to enjoy my trip so these are things that i have learned that i need to do and they've helped me to drastically reduce the prices the prices the amount of money that I spend when I'm on trips so once again these are just things that I've learned that I want to share to you guys if you don't want to take them into consideration don't no smoke at all I would love to hear any tips that you have um, I'm always down for some new knowledge when it comes to traveling let me know I know a couple of you guys were saying that you had trips that you wanted to do or you had plant coming up let me know down below if you've been able to make it to your trips if you did how you liked them if there's a place that you prefer did i did i did i'd love to know i think that's it i don't know why i'm burping so much but i think i'm gonna stop talking and that'll probably help so <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please like and subscribe if you're into me i'm weird I'm nervous all the time and I just blabber sometimes. It's just one of those things that happens. This is pretty much like a, a, a normal look for me. I do crazy looks. So if this is too crazy for you, I understand. If this is your wheelhouse, welcome home. <laughs> okay, I'm going slap happy at this point. I need to leave. As always, y'all, it has been real. Peace.